a welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for another week of fun things. And the most important thing is today is not raining. I have had enough of the rain. I didn't know I moved to LA to live in like Vancouver, Seattle. And I know that that is me complaining. 100% that is me complaining. I don't love the rain. I get really bad headaches and migraines in the rain. So it has been a rough couple of weeks. It's been like two weeks basically on and off of like mostly rain every day and also just the sound of wet pavement it's a new thing for me i'm just not not feeling it so today is not sunny but it's not raining so i'm very happy and today's a big day we are shooting a new collection and one of our photographers who's from toronto erin Layden, is actually here in la on i guess a vacation but now i've got her to work so she's shooting this collection for us and i'm so excited to work with her again work with some new talent here in LA and just have things come to life for this new collection. So my morning is packed. It is busy. I have a few meetings. I need to eat because we all know that I get very hangry and I am just going to try to get everything put together so I don't feel rushed closer to the shoot. It's in a couple hours. So I want to make sure that I'm not like panic sweating, panic rushed right before the shoot. So it's going to be an exciting day. I'm obviously going to take you along for the journey. And if you're new here, hi, by the way, I'm Mary. The shoot that I'm talking about is for my clothing brand, Mary Young, which is my name. And you can find it at It's Mary Young on all social platforms and maryyoung.com. So I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes of the shoot because I think I'm going to post this video once the collection goes live, just because I don't want to tease too much. already the next day as you know yesterday now that it was yesterday we had our shoot for mary young took you behind the scenes saw some of our new stuff for valentine's day which is very exciting i mean on a personal level i'm very excited for valentine's day this is an exciting collection for us it's the most like feminine collection i think we've ever done because it's pink and red Never done pink and red at Mary Young, or well, fuchsia, I guess, like this type of pink, especially for Valentine's Day. Um, and it was a busy day, I'm not gonna lie. Did the shoot and then went out for dinner with our photographer, Erin, and her husband, and Michael joined. And it was lovely to just like hang out outside of work because we don't actually see them that often. Oh, this lighting is so nice. They still live in Toronto, so they are just out here for a couple weeks, and uh, it was great to catch up. And then I got home and I literally went straight to bed because socializing takes a lot of energy and it's been a busy day. I did make it out for a really lovely walk, which was so nice because the weather is finally like knock on wood nice again. It has been crazy rain, floods, got a matcha as per usual. And now I'm in the depths of work. So I've been on a bunch of calls today. Actually, Malika and I recorded a really exciting episode for this could work and if you don't know about my podcast it's called this could work it's with malika my friend who is also the self-love club editor at mary young her and i explore self-love and what that looks like and self-care because it's not always as attainable as we are marketed towards like it's not just bubble baths and face masks and how do you have time to really take the time for self-care. So her and I are exploring that. This episode should be up when this video airs. So, or maybe this, actually, you know what? This video will come out just before the podcast. I'm not gonna give anything away, but it is a, a sexuality doula. That's all I'm gonna say. So obviously you need to go and subscribe to This Could Work. The link is below. So please go subscribe, take a listen, catch up on all our other episodes because we have already done a season and we're halfway through season two. So I'm gonna get into doing some more work. I have some like pretty 
high level tasks that I need to get done today. My groceries are about to be delivered because I've been doing my grocery order online. So I'll show you what is in our big grocery shop when it gets here. And then I'm gonna make a really good dinner for Michael and I today and hopefully work out. Those are just some goals for the day. Okay, I'm just gonna take you into my fridge because it's easier. So we have avocados, some cherry tomatoes stocked up on cherry tomatoes. This pasta sauce is delicious. We're gonna be using that for some pasta. I bought chicken breast. So we're gonna do, well, I'm gonna make a chicken meal tonight. Obviously, you know how I like my mushrooms and feta with my eggs. Did not buy eggs because they were sold out. So we're gonna have to go to the farmer's market. Of course, got my yogurt. We have a bottle of champagne just chilling in case we need to pop it. Got some lettuce, some other greens, orange juice for Michael. We have way too many <laughs> red and green peppers. So we really need to do a stir fry because these, this whole drawer is literally red and green peppers. And then we have broccolini, some onion, tomato. So this is our other veggie drawer. And then we have some chives, a sad little avocado that I probably should eat ASAP. And then carrots and celery. These, the celery and the chives are gonna go in my dinner tonight. So you'll see that. And then for the frozen goods, I always keep my bread in the freezer until I'm ready to eat it. But for any of my gluten-free friends, this is the best. It is the little Northern Bakehouse. It is the best gluten-free bread. I also got Michael some ice cream sandwiches, which is his favorite. As you can see, we have enough bananas for some banana loaf. And then got some shrimp. So we'll do some shrimp at some point, maybe in a pasta and some ground beef. This ground beef we might use for bolognese because we haven't made bolognese in a little while. Also, hot tip, keep your compost container in the freezer and then it doesn't stink up your kitchen. Okay, this day has been both good and bad and I just wanna express the reality of busy days is when I'm busy and I have meetings and I do podcast recordings, or I do a lot of computer work, I feel productive. Of course I feel productive because I can actually see things that I've checked off my list. But then I also feel overwhelmed because I get into a role of being productive and then I feel like I still haven't done enough. I don't know what this syndrome is, but I have a syndrome of never thinking I've done enough and that I still need to do more and achieve more. And if I were to write out everything that I did today, it is such a wide variety of tasks. Some are more analytical, some are actually recording. I had production calls. I've done some marketing and social media management. I did a training, I had podcasts, like the amount of things I did as an entrepreneur, having a, a business and a small business, I have my hands in almost every aspect of the business. So I feel like I'm jumping around from thing to thing to thing, which is great because a lot's happening, but I feel so overwhelmed and tired and it is 5.30, so it's not even that late, but I really want to be eating dinner at a good time. So I'm starting dinner now and I'm stopping work for right now. Because I'm doing that, it feels like my work day is done. Though I know realistically, I will do work after dinner. Not that I should, but I know I will. So I'm pausing on work, which feels weird to walk away when I know I still wanna accomplish more. I'm gonna make dinner and try to just like not disassociate, but kind of disassociate from the reality of being busy and being productive. And I know there's like the trending thing on TikTok right now, but like every girl has ADHD and we just like weren't diagnosed. I don't think I have ADHD or ADD. I think this is a state of our environment and our society is you're on your phone, you're on your computer, you have messages from people, you have emails, slacks, there's so many different places to talk to people. There's so many things that you need to keep up with, whether you have all social media channels or not, you're always trying to keep up with something. So it often feels like you're jumping from one thing to the next and not even remembering what you're doing or why you're doing it. I don't actually think all of us have ADHD. I think it's the society that we live in and I can feel it on my nervous system because I feel so overwhelmed when I'm so productive. Anyways, I'm just saying the same thing over and over. So I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm gonna start cooking dinner. I'm actually gonna listen to 
a audible book. I've been listening to Mean Baby by Selma Blair, um, which is really good because she has chronic illness. So it's actually, um, I hate to say it, but it's refreshing to listen to someone who talks about their life and from their childhood through their adult years. And obviously I cannot relate to Selma Blair. Her and I have a bit of a different relationship with life. She's in a different place than I am, but there's some things that are relatable and she also narrates the book and she has a great voice. So I'm actually gonna put on my headphones and listen to that while I start cooking. back from Michael's favorite place. We went to Air One and we became Air One members. We're not sure if it's the right decision, but we're gonna do one year trial, which is the membership, it's one year. So I'm excited for the free drink. You get a free cafe drink once a month. And I think I will finally get one of those expensive smoothies. It's a rainy day. We have a few things going on later today. We're going to a friend's for, I guess it's like, are we doing dinner? Yep. Dinner, drinks, hangout, fun fact, they're all from Toronto, so it's a little Toronto reunion, I guess. But as you can see, there's some packages that have been delivered. A friend of mine sent me some really great products that I'm excited to try. Some vacuums, because we are grown up and we need vacuums, and some kitchen stuff. So we may unpack those today, depending, but I also ordered a couple other things that I'm going to show you sort of what I got. I, I mean, some of these I ordered actually a while ago. So these are things that I've been waiting on I'm adding to not only my skincare, my beauty, but also my nail care. I am getting ready to go out. I did my hair. I washed it today. So it's actually styled. It looks good. Hopefully it's not going to get ruined in the rain. And I'm wearing a very merry outfit. I was feeling a little bit I don't know, stressed about what to wear. I don't know if you feel this, but I always feel stressed when I'm going out and meeting up with people about what I wear, how we'll all blend together with what we're wearing. So I'm just wearing something that feels very me. This is a oversized Chicago Bulls shirt. Very, very long. It's like a men's XL. Um, it says Bulls in the back, which is kind of, kind of fun, very unique. And then I'm wearing the Aritzia Molina pants. These I actually got off Poshmark. Um, I'm feeling a little bloated just because I haven't worked out because of my back pain, but I'm tucking the shirt in and hoping that like hides how I'm feeling so I don't have to worry or stress or feel anxious about clothes. But this is the look and it feels pretty good. Stocked up on some skincare and beauty products. I feel like this is my new thing that I've been investing more into as I've aged is just better skincare and makeup. I'll show you what I stocked up on. So I use the Merit um, highlighter stick. This is in Bounce. So I got a new one of those. And then I also got the Ordinary. This is a product that I know I've shown you before. So it's the, it's the retinoid. And this, this is like one of the most affordable retinoids ever. So highly recommend it. And then I also stocked up on my Ilia tinted SPF serum. So this is SPF 40, which I think is really important, especially living out here in California. 
and I wear the shade ST6 Aura. And then I'm trying a new moisturizer. This is the Glow Recipe. I know you probably have heard me talk about Glow Recipe before, but this is the Lotion Hydrate and it's the Pink Juice Moisturizer. So it actually like smells like watermelon. I've been using it for a couple days and so far so good. So I'll, I'll circle back in like two weeks to let you know if I enjoy it. And then I also finally bit the bullet and bought the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush um, Flawless Setting Spray. I've actually never used a setting spray since I've been learning more about makeup. And I know that I touch my face a lot and I find that by the end of the day, I can notice that most of my makeup is gone. So I think the setting spray is hopefully gonna help my makeup last and just like keep, keep the look that I worked on for longer. So that's all that I stocked up on. I like to try a few new things, but also make sure that when I like something, I stick with it. I am a girl all about consistency. As you know, I've been really getting into doing my nails. So I've been doing the Gelex extension actually for a couple months now, I realized since it's too expensive out here to do my nails, but I finally got the BioGel, which is like builder gel for your nails. And I'm so excited. So these will come off probably in like a week or 10 days. I'm gonna start with this. And I cannot wait because I used to do BioGel back in Canada and it's just been hard to find out here at a reasonable cost. So I'm confident that I can do it myself. And I have been looking at the Gel Care brand. This is actually a Canadian company. They're based in Montreal and they have beautiful colors. They do a lot of different nail polish and like manicure options they sell jewelry to. But I stocked up during their Boxing Day, Boxing Week sale. So I... I'm going to show you all the colors that I got. I got a, like, this is part of the tortoise shell kit. So you can buy like a tortoise shell three piece kit. So this is like the brown base. It comes with the like amber oil that makes the tortoise shell. And then I got a blue. I'm a big fan of like blue tones. So I got the blue, a matcha. I just had to because it's called matcha. I mean, if you know me, you know I love matcha. So I had to get the matcha. I'll show you what it actually looks like. Like, look at that. And then I did get another green because I also, I'm a girl of green. It's called pickle. I also love pickles. So this one I'm excited for, I'll show you the color because it is different than the matcha. It's a bit more of like a lighter palette. It's not as vibrant. And then this is the jelly brown. This is used with the tortoise shell kit. And then, I got lavender. I I mean, obviously I have purple on right now, but this is a lavender. Look how beautiful. Very similar to what I have, but left. This is like without the velvet color on this. This like lavender is like almost more pink. And then this is one of my favorite colors. It's like an orangey red. I don't do red reds. I do orangey reds. So when I saw this, I knew that I had to have it. Look at how beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. So... Probably in the next week, like I said, seven to 10 days, I'm going to be redoing my nails. If you have a color that you like that you think I should try, please comment below and maybe I'll do it. And then I can show you the process of doing bio gel nails for the first time. So fingers crossed, these will look beautiful and just as gorgeous as Gel X, but healthier because with bio gel and like builder gel, you don't have to remove it after every like three weeks. Like these obviously are like extensions. So you take these off which is a lot of wear and tear on your natural nails. And mine natural nails are just really not great to begin with. So taking them on and off time and time again, is just like not good for my nails. So I'm really excited to try the bio gel. And I was excited to find a Canadian company that sells really great colors, has cool branding. If you want to try with me, let me know. It has been a relatively busy day and I am ready for bed. So I'm going to hit the hay. Hopefully get eight hours of sleep and feel good for tomorrow. Thanks for joining me this week and watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.